As an elementary school teacher, no two days are ever quite the same for me. But while each day brings new challenges and joyful moments, the overall rhythm and routine of my profession provides stability. I absolutely love being a teacher. Molding young minds, nurturing growth, and making a difference in children's lives, it's more rewarding than I ever imagined. My morning routine starts at 5.30 a.m. I wake up feeling a mix of grogginess and anticipation for the school day ahead. I take a quick shower, get dressed in comfortable slacks and a blouse, and make breakfast. I make sure to eat a filling meal to power through the busy day. I also pack a lunch and snacks to sustain my energy. I brew a thermos of coffee to drink during the early morning fog. By 6.30, I'm out the door with my loaded down work bag and lunch bag. The 20-minute drive to school is peaceful this early. I enjoy sipping my coffee while listening to uplifting music or an audiobook tape to put me in the right mindset. I reflect on my lesson plans for the day and think about my students. Their precious faces and distinct personalities start running through my mind. I arrive at school around 7 a.m., an hour before students get there. This is invaluable prep time for me. I turn on lights, arrange desks, write the day's agenda on the board, and prepare materials for my lessons. I also chat with other teachers and administrators about anything new happening at school. Collaboration with my colleagues is so valuable. At 8 o'clock, students start trickling in. I position myself to greet them at the door with a warm good morning. Seeing their smiles and sleepy little faces fills me with joy. As they put away backpacks and get settled, I help any students who look distressed or need special attention. Before we jump into academics, we start the day with a classroom morning meeting. The morning meeting is a chance for students to share stories, build community, and get focused. We sit in a circle on the rug. Students take turns passing around a talking object and sharing news or announcements. I remind them to look at the speaker and listen attentively. We also discuss the daily schedule and do a quick energizing activity like singing songs or playing a game. This tradition really bonds the class. After our meeting, we begin classroom work. I teach a wide range of subjects including reading, writing, math, science, and social studies. I give short interactive lessons with visual aids and opportunities for students to discuss and work together. I incorporate physical movement and educational games to keep young ones engaged. The students are split up into small groups or pairs based on skill level so I can challenge them appropriately. I circulate the room constantly, observing students and making sure they understand concepts and stay on task. I provide individual guidance, reteaching material in different ways if they are struggling. When I notice special needs, I consult with our counselor and learning specialist. Each child's advancement inspires me. Watching their young minds open up to new ideas motivates me as an educator. After a lesson block focused on core academics, we break for lunch and recess. I use this time to take a breather, scarf down my packed meal, and touch base with fellow staff. At recess, I monitor the kids playing outside, making sure everyone is included and disputes get resolved. The fresh air and free playtime is so essential for their development. When recess ends, we rotate back to class for more learning. In the afternoon, we do lighter activities like art, music, and library time which allow students and me to recharge. I make the lessons hands-on, allowing the kids to express their creativity. They love getting messy with paint or picking out new books to read. These enrichment subjects provide joy and help make well-rounded students. As the final bell rings at 3 p.m., I feel a mix of exhaustion and fulfillment. 
I say warm goodbyes to students as they pack up and go meet parents and buses. Once they all leave, I have more prep work of my own. I meet with other teachers to discuss any concerns about students. I tidy up the classroom and review how the day's lessons went. I start planning what I want to teach tomorrow, pulling together books, worksheets, and activities. My workday usually ends around for 30 p.m. when I can finally head home. The evenings are for grading assignments, making lesson plans, and researching ideas. I also call or email parents to update them on their child's progress. Collaborating with families is so meaningful. Their partnership and trust means everything. After an hour or two of schoolwork at home, I take a break for dinner and self-care. While teaching is immensely fulfilling, it can also be quite draining managing dozens of spirited children. I recharge by cooking a healthy meal, reading, walking my dog, or just relaxing with my husband. I try not to take work home so I avoid burnout. Of course, not every school day unfolds smoothly. Some bring challenges like unruly behavior, understaffing, or disputes with parents. Paperwork, meetings, and various crises all compete for teachers' time and energy. The emotional toll can really weigh on you. But I focus on the rewards like inspiring children, sparking aha moments, and shaping young lives for the better. The hardest days are when I can't get through to a struggling child or help a student who's troubled at home. The enormity of children's issues, from learning disorders to poverty, hits me. I agonize over how to best serve every kid. But by working with families and fellow teachers, we eventually find solutions together. The bad days remind me why I became a teacher in the first place. Every year brings a new group of students with fresh personalities and needs. Flexibility is key when no two school years are the same. I must constantly adapt my lesson plans and teaching strategies to fit the classes I have. While demanding, keeping things novel and exciting for my students energizes me professionally. Their endless curiosity and enthusiasm keeps me feeling young. The teaching profession certainly poses challenges from mountains of paperwork to inadequate funding for school resources. The emotional drain of managing many lively children day in and day out can really wear you down. But ultimately, the rewards outweigh any struggles. Being a teacher allows me to make a tangible difference in children's lives. Nurturing their growth brings purpose to my own life. My shy students eventually raise their hand to speak out more. The ones who started off barely reading are suddenly devouring chapter books. On the last day of school, students gift me heartfelt letters and drawings that reduce me to bittersweet tears. Seeing the progress, and knowing I played a role in their development, is priceless. My job as their teacher may be demanding, but it's profoundly fulfilling. At times I think back to my own school days and the teachers who made an impact on me. I strive to show the same patience, compassion and wisdom that inspired me as a shy student once afraid to make mistakes. My education growing up sparked my lifelong love of learning. Now I get to rekindle that flame in a new generation. Being trusted to shape young lives is an honor I don't take lightly. While each school year presents new challenges, overall the predictable routine of teaching gives me purpose. My students become like family. Lessons, meetings, activities, and events provide structure to the weeks and seasons. Small victories, like a struggling student finally grasping a concept, make each demanding day worthwhile. Together with my colleagues, families, and community, I'm proud to be instilling knowledge and confidence in our country's future.